Participants are asked to produce a force that matches the horizontal line as displayed on the screen. Once that force is reached and maintained, as indicated by the red trace in the lower panel, a stimulus is delivered, as noted in the top panel. The electrical stimulation and the response recorded from the muscle is then expanded by zooming in on the screen. Vertical cursors are then placed at the onset of the electrical potential and at some point following the potential, when there's no visible EMG. Note that the vertical cursors are numbered. Here they're numbered 1 and 2, and that the drop-down menu is set to amplitude. Amplitude measures the peak-to-peak -peak amplitude of the signal that is between the two vertical cursors. Thus, in the cursor region box, the values between 1 and 2 are the values of interest. In this example, the amplitude of the biceps brachii potential is highlighted by blue. If the amplitude obtained is not within the range of amplitudes you are looking for, and this depends on your study's question, are you looking for a particular amplitude relative to M wave, for example? Then you simply adjust the output of the stimulator to evoke a potential of different amplitude and then press continue. In order to take an average of the potentials that you have recorded, you have a couple of options. You can visually identify the frames you want to average and tag them by pressing Ctrl T. Note that the screen goes from white to a grayish color. The frame is now tagged. Once this is complete, click on Analysis, then Waveform Average, and next you will need to tell the software the duration or width of time that you want to average from each frame. You can type in this number. You can also tell the software when to start to take the predetermined width of time. Then click New. You can then click on the drop-down menu for the frames you want to average and select Tagged Frames. Thus, only the frames that you tagged will be included in the averaged response. Now click Process. Double-click on the channel you want to assess and then zoom in. You can now make the same measurements that you already made with individual traces, except now you are making an averaged measurement of several frames.